Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet a very interesting and warm project with my own stitch pattern. For this one I will use 3mm crochet hook and a ball of yarn. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description. Let's crochet the head. I will start from the brim part of the head. Make a chain of 4. 1 two three four then yarn over the hook make double crochet on the chain insert the hook into the first chain stitch pull up a loop pull through first loop and pull through two loops twice yarn over the hook Make double crochet on the chain. I insert the hook into the chain that I did in the previous stitch. I insert the hook into two loops. Make chain and double crochet. Here what I have. Continue. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain, make double crochet on the chain, insert the hook into the two threads, make double crochet on the chain, make chain and double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain that I did before and make double crochet on the chain. So keep working in this way till the end of the foundation round. Here what I have. I have done the first round. It is elastic and very simple in the same time. You can use such method for any product. And right now I show you how to join two sides together while making the last stitch. For this I took two sides together. In total it should be 112 stitches. And while making the last stitch I will join two sides together. And before I did 111 stitches or 110 plus chains on the beginning. So this is my third stitch. I counted it, then you should work as usual. I remind you I have done 111 stitches. Let's crochet the last one. Yarn over the hook. It shouldn't be twisted before the joining. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, then insert the hook into the stitch. This is the chain stitch that I did on the beginning of the work. Grab the yarn, pull it through both loops and pull through two loops, one, two. Let's stop and look. My joining point is ready and now to complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch. Make a slip stitch. That's it. My first round is ready. So this is my foundation round. Here how it looks. Next time I'm going to work on the brim part. It is going to be one by one rib pattern. Let's stop and look at the ready project. 
My head consists of three parts, brain part, the main pattern that is leaf stitch pattern and the crown. Next time I will show you how to crochet step by step brain part. Pattern consists of two stitches and pattern has one round. Then you will see how to make leaf stitch pattern. How to crochet this pattern you can find in another video tutorial. I give you a link in the description of this video tutorial. Pattern consists of 16 stitches. Bud pattern based on 15 stitches. Bud pattern has 16 stitches. The height is 14 rounds, so my leaf consists of 14 rounds. You can crochet one leaf or more than one, it depends of your project. You can use such kind of pattern in any product, as usually. Then you will see how to make the crown for this head. And while making the crown, I show you how to make the greases in the round and round without the grease. How to crochet the leaf stitch pattern could be found in the description below. Please use this description. And right now I'm gonna to crochet brim part, that is one by one rib. And as for the leaf stitch pattern, I created it recently. This is my own stitch pattern. So let's crochet one by one rib. For this, make back post single crochet, then chain of two to bring up the yarn. Instead of back post double crochet, I made Back post single crochet and chain of two. Make front post double crochet, then back post double crochet. So you should alternate with front post and back post double crochet. Make front post and back post. Make front post and back post double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round together. Let's complete this round together. To complete this round, insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. My round is ready. For the next round, make back post single crochet, then chain of two to bring up the yarn. I did them instead of first stitch. Make front post double crochet around the front post and back post around the back post double crochet. Make back post double crochet and front post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round together. You should make slip stitch into the second chain stitch as I did before. So you should crochet the brim part as many times as you need. My brim part is my brim part is done. Let's measure it. It is five centimeters. Let's count how many rounds I needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds. For me it's enough, in your case it could be more or less round, it depends of the height 
the green part. So let's crochet the main pattern. It is going to be the first round of the main pattern. It is going to be a round of front post and back post double crochet. So if you don't know how to crochet such kind of stitches, please use my tutorials for beginners. Make back post single crochet, chain of two to bring up the yarn. I did them instead of first stitch. Make front post double crochet. Then I'm making back post double crochet. Make seven back posts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, well done. Then front post double crochet, chain and front post double crochet around the same stitch. Here what I have. Then seven back post double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I'm done seven double crochet. I'm done seven back post double crochet. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. And let's stop and look. Pattern consists of 16 stitches. I have done the first piece of pattern. From this point till the last stitch, I include this piece. Sorry, I didn't count the last stitch. So they are 16 stitches here. I started one, make back post double crochet seven times, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then front pause double crochet, chain and front pause double crochet around the same stitch, and so on. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. Pattern consists of 16 stitches and has 14 rounds. So in round they are 7 pieces of the pattern. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Make a slip stitch. Let's stop and look. Pattern consists of 16 stitches and has 14 rounds. And I remind you, each round consists of 7 small pieces. In the future, it is going to be a leaf stitch pattern or seven leaves. Then you should crochet with your own. I give you a link in the description of this video tutorial 
how to crochet the leaf stitch pattern. Then I will show you my ready leaf stitch pattern. Here how they look like. So my head consists of seven leaves. This is my own stitch pattern. I created it recently. And for this leaf stitch pattern you need to know how to crochet front post and back post double crochet. Pattern has 14 rounds. And let's measure my swatch. It is 12 centimeters in the height. For me it's enough and next time I'm gonna to crochet the crown for this hat. And in the crown you will see how to crochet the creases. Let's complete the first round of the crown. For some reason the small piece of video was lost. I'm so sorry about this. Let's complete this round. Make back pause double crochet. I do not finish this stitch. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch. On the beginning of this round, grab the yarn, pull it through. Make back pause single crochet. For the next round, it will be round two. Chain of two to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet. I'm going to make the creases into the each of second round. This is the second round. Make back post double crochet. Then back post double crochet. Two, three, four. And so on. Then back post double crochet. One, two, three, You should crochet the next round as the first one. And the second round like a simple round. Make back post double crochet, then front post double crochet, make back post double crochet, one, two, and so on. So it means I make in one round with the greases and the next round without it. And you should alternate this sequence as many times as you need for your crown. Then I will show you what you will do next. Let's complete this round, the round without degrees. I did back post double crochet. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch, make a slip stitch, and now it is going to be around with the creases. Make back post, single crochet, chain of two to bring up the yarn, front post, double crochet, make back post, double crochet, two together, one. Two and pull through all loops on the hook. Back post double crochet one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now make back pose double crochet two together. First one. Make the second one. And pull through loops on the hook. Make front pose double crochet. Make two back pose double crochet two together. Make back pose double crochet two together. One. Two and pull through. Now well done. Make back pause double crochet in a round. You should alternate around with degrees and without it. So keep working on this way till the end of this round as many times as you need. My crown is almost done. I remind you, I did decreases every second round, so I alternated with round with decreases and without it. Let's look at small hole. Here what I have, and I remind you the main part of the this hat is done in the another video tutorial. Please visit the description of this video tutorial. Let's look at the each part. They are three stitches into the each segment. This is the back post double crochet. Here what I have at this point. This is my own stitch pattern. I created it recently. And now I show you how to complete the crown at this point. I continue working on my crown. They are three back pause double crochet. Make back pause single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet. Make back post double crochet three together. One. I do not finish the stitch. Two. I do not finish the stitch. And three. I do not finish the stitch. Pull through all loops on the hook. Then front post double crochet. Make back post double crochet three together. One. Two. And three. And pull through loops on the hook. Front post double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete this round. Let's complete this round. Make back post double crochet two together. First one. The second one. And pull through all loops. Then insert the hook into the second chain stitch. And grab the yarn, pull it through all loops on the hook. Let's stop and look what I have done.
I need to do one more round. Make back post single crochet. Make front post single crochet around the front post. Chain of two. Make back post double crochet. Do, I do not finish this stitch. Make front post double crochet. I do not finish this stitch. And pull through all loops on the hook. Let's crochet. Make back post double crochet. I do not finish this stitch. Then front post double crochet. I do not finish the stitch, pull through loops on the hook like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. This is the last round. Yarn over the hook. Make back post double crochet. I do not finish this stitch. In my case, it is not comfortable to show you on the camera. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Pull up a loop and pull through loops on the hook. My round is done. I have got a small hole to complete the round by making a chain. I have already cut off the yarn. You should leave a lot piece of yarn to sew this hole using sew a needle. You should turn this head to the back side and show you how to sew this hole and with a needle should go through the stitches this is the back side of the head i take sew a needle so with a needle go through the stitches like this with a needle go through the stitches and with a needle go through the stitches Pull a little bit and with a needle go through the stitches. With a needle go through the stitches. And with a needle go through the stitches one more round. So with the needle go through the stitches to remove the small hole. Then you should remove the yarn along the stitches. And turn to the and turn ahead to the front side. So that's it, my head is ready. Let's look at the back side one more time. And I remind you, this is my own stitch pattern. In this video, I am done a crown and the brim part. The main part could be found in the description of this video tutorial. How to crochet. This is crown. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please write comment below this video what you will get with me. 
and where you will use my leaf stitch pattern. Let's measure it. It is 23 centimeters, so it could be perfect for 46 centimeters of head circumference. It is very elastic. It is very stretchy, so it could be perfect for 54 centimeters of head circumference. Using the first round of the brie part, you created very elastic first round. So it could be perfect for any size of the head. For this project you can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook. For spring time it could be cotton yarn. For winter time you can use wool yarn to keep your head in warm. And now I show you how my head looks like on mannequin. Oops, I didn't show you the height of this head, so now I measure it. The height of this head is 21 centimeters. So let's look at mannequin. So my warm and stretchy project is ready. It could be perfect for any time. It could be perfect for every day, especially in autumn or winter time. My head consists of three parts. Brim part, main and the crown. Please write comment below this video where are you planning using my crochet leaf stitch pattern. You can use this leaf stitch pattern in any project. Let's look at the crown. And while making the crown, you have seen how to crochet the greases in each of the second round. Thank you so much for crocheting with me. See you in the next video tutorials. And bye!